to them I'm just their mom. Right. You know. And you're but, like, darling, I'm an icon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whenever they roll their eyes at me, I'm like, you can't do that to me. Oh. I invented that. <laughs>
Who would you cast to play you? Well, they can't they can't reboot it, the John Hughes movies because it's not it's not like you know he doesn't want it to be done, and I don't think it should be done. You don't? I don't. Really? No. Why? Because Why it's mess with because perfection? it's well, and not just that, but it's of a certain time, and there are certain yeah. things that are not appropriate now that weren't even like were barely appropriate then, which is what I tried to sort of examine in the New Yorker piece that I wrote. Um, which is beautifully I, written, Thank you, way. thank you. No, I really love those movies, and I by no means do I want to turn my back on them, but I would like it if people take the good from that and, and are inspired by that to create something that's relevant to what's going on today, because the world is a different place, and there's, and there's more diversity, and, and there should be. And, and that's sort of what interests me, to, to really kind of go from there, but not, you know, recast or remake that, because that was of that time. Up next. To establish a new government. <laughs> I remember doing that, that particular thing where you had to, they had to put the camera on us and then zoom in really fast. And it was really hard to do without cracking up. <laughs> The second you would feel the camera going, <laughs> it just felt like one of those ridiculous shots. I haven't seen that in a really long time. What do you make of it? Um, I actually want to go back and watch it. <laughs> I'm sort of like, I want to know what was happening. I don't remember. I don't remember what was actually happening. It's based on Stephen King. Yes, I read it, um, and then Stephen King gave me like sort of the the unedited version of it. So I was like, thanks. <laughs> like. Are you Thanks, Steven. <laughs> I had source a lot material. of source material. <laughs> yes. All right, next up. You're hardly in a position to give me advice, don't you think? Yeah, I do think. Oh, my God, I'm so pregnant. Oh, my well, God. Let's talk about that. Because I'm so pregnant. your character ends up being pregnant as well, but yes. you were pregnant with twins. I mean, did you go full method, or did they write the plot no, around your pregnancy? No, they wrote that. They wrote that in um, because I became pregnant. And um, and she said, you know, we can just make it that you're sad that your relationship's ending. We'll just make you um, like sad and and um, and like you just gain a lot of weight and your and I'm like, <laughs> eating or we could pain. just make it so that I'm pregnant. Right. We could do that too. Oh, Shailene's so sweet. Did you ever give her any advice about how to navigate this industry? Um, I gave her like. She would ask me for sex advice. <laughs> okay, so what'd you tell her? I'm not gonna tell you. Come on. I will tell you when the camera's not on. No, it's personal. I don't know how Shailene would feel about the, me, but no, she would ask me like specific, well, what about this or what about that? And I was like, okay, well, in my opinion, I was, it was very sweet. It was very sweet. All right, next up. <laughs> I always like to have a beautiful woman on my arm. Tonight I have two. Biggest show on television right now. Yeah. So what has it been like for you to be a part of the Riverdale family? It's great. And Luke Perry. Luke Perry is great. You know, Luke Perry, um, this is sort of interesting connection. Um, when I was in my 20s, before I moved to Paris, I um, sort of on a whim went and got a little pot belly pig, and it was supposed to stay really little. And then this pig just became enormous. And, um, and then I... <laughs> I was staying at my parents and it uprooted my mom's garden and she was like, we have to get rid of this pig. Um, and then through a friend, Luke Perry has a farm um, in like, I, I can't remember where it is, in like Virginia or something like that. And he took in Wilbur. Luke so before Perry I even knew Luke Perry, we had this pig connection. Okay, can we expect to see you again this season? Yes. Will you really tell us more? Yes, I can't tell you anything Come on, more. just a little something. I can't. I don't even know. I haven't read the script yet. Really? No, I just know I'm coming back. You're coming back. I'm coming back. All right. Yeah. We can't wait. All right, yeah. up next. Simon, why are you looking at me like that? I wasn't looking at you. Yes, you were. <laughs> <laughs> That's the director of the movie on the left. And she's a first-time writer and director, her first yeah. feature. There's a lot of different storylines going on. You know, there's the thing with, with him and who she's obsessed with. And then there's Harley Quinn Smith's character, who's a, uh, who's a teenage girl who has this uh, slut-shaming issue that she deals with at school. And um, so you have, like, all these different storylines, and they're all connecting. And I feel like it's it's a perfectly titled movie in all these small moments. Now, when you are you and you've been on set and worked with the best of the best and you're working with a first-time director, writer, mm -hmm. does she come to you for advice? Did Melissa ever 
pick your brain and sort of. I mean, she was ask definitely. You, like, can you? I think I, is this is this right? Am I, I doing? I think she was very collaborative, um, but but had a very specific idea of what she wanted to do. Okay. Um, and then, which is great. It's that's what I really like. I like to work with people who have a real idea of what they want to do, but they're flexible and collaborative. Mm -hmm. You don't want anyone coming to you and just saying, well, what do you want? Um, do you think that, well, where do you want to go? Like, mm -hmm. it, I don't like that. Like, I want somebody to be very confident and know where, and also have a great relationship with their crew, but then still be collaborative enough to say, oh, wow, that, how you changed that line, that was really great. And she was really like that. Molly, thank you so much for surfing by. All these small moments is in select theaters and available on demand and digital now. See you next week on Couch Surfing.